Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. I pray everybody is good. Hallelujah. Thank you all for your prayers. My voice is definitely starting to come back uh, faster than usual. You know, usually when you lose your voice, it's for a, a little second. Hallelujah. But glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. My voice is starting to shoot back up. And I truly believe it's because many of your prayers. Hallelujah. So I just want to jump into something, right? Because we know election day is in two weeks. And like, good grief. It's like some of these celebrities are just showing how sold they, how sold out they are to the system. Right? And I just want to show a video of Usher on stage at a Kamala Harris rally. Just the weirdest thing. Just what he says is just so, like you can tell it's just fake. You can tell it's just him saying something because he thinks the people are, are going to want to hear it. It's just absurd to me how these people can be so sold out. You know, the last time I seen so many people uh, coming forth and doing nonsense like this during the pandemic. I said it. I said it. I said it. So what? During the pandemic, I seen a whole lot of celebrities, a whole lot of actors, a whole lot of singers, rappers come out and telling you to get the boop, 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 boop. Telling you to get the boop boop boop. Now we finding out the boop 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 is terrible. Many lives have been taken. Many people's lives have been affected by the boop boop boop. Okay, the boop 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 boop. In case you just don't know what I'm saying, I don't. Even, I don't. I really don't think you can even say it on uh, online still without being banned. So that's why we came up with a word for it. Hallelujah, if you know, you know. Um, but let's get into this video with Usher. Check this buffoonery out. I love you more, but I love Kamala Harris even more. What in the world? What is this man talking about? I love you more, but I love... Usher think he on stage. Usher think he's on stage performing. I love you more, but I love... Kamala Harris even more. What? what is this man talking about? Let's rewind it real quick. I love you more, but I love Kamala Harris even more. I want her to be our next president of the United States. And we can do it, but we're gonna do it together. One more time. We ready. What? We ready. Come on, Georgia. We ready. What? What? Oh, One more time. One more time. We, we ready. Hey. We ready. Hey. We ready. Oh, Thank you so much. Vote early. Let's do this. Thank you. Let's do this. In the world, somebody tell Usher he got his shirt on backwards. So, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. You know what's going on? They want Diddy to come out of jail. You know, Usher used to be, with, Usher went to Diddy's house when he was 13 years old. We see all kind of different allegations of different nine-year-olds, 13-year-olds coming out now about the diddler. Here's my thing, right? Because I want to show you guys something. Because there's still people in my comments saying things like, well, you're saying this about Kamala, but why don't you say it about Trump? And Trump's doing the same thing. Listen, I've showed you guys different things that Trump has said about Jesus, right? About Jesus being our strength about Jesus being our savior. I can't find those videos on Kamala. Otherwise, I'd show those. Let me give you a let me just give you a clip here and a clip there back to back on what I see personally. And if you don't see it, I I I really don't know what to do for you to open your eyes. I at this point, you've been clouded by a dark cloud where you just can't see through it. A lot of different times 
as people, we can come into agreement with different celebrities or people that you may worship, and not even realize you worship them. So what they say directly penetrates into your soul and you believe it because they are your master. That's why it's, that's why it's bad to really get into a point where you make people that are celebrities your idols because they become your master. If they become your master, whatever they say and they believe, you believe it subconsciously. Why do you think they have Usher on stage? Why do you think they, that she had Quavo and different people that don't know a lick of beans about politics on stage? Now, let me show you a clip here and a clip there. Let me show you a, a clip of Trump's rally and music that plays at Trump's rallies. I was actually one of my songs played at a Trump rally. My song, Left, Right, Left. You can go on YouTube and Google it. Isaiah Robbins slash Left, Right, Left. Music video. But let me just show you a clip, though. Let, let's just see it ourselves. Front, fr right here, right now, live. We're going live. We're doing it live. Let's just show you, and you tell me what the difference is. We're going to show we're gonna show music at Trump rally and then the music at Kamala's rally. Back to back, okay? Here we go. Are you guys ready? Jump roll, please. Here we have it. Trump first. That was them playing Hallelujah. Hallelujah with the crowd singing Hallelujah. Okay? Okay? That was Trump. Now we're going to go to Kamehameha. Are y'all ready? We're going to go to Kamehameha. Are y'all ready? Drum roll, please. Here we go. All right. Uh, I think we get it. Show them back to back. I'm, you know what's dangerous? When people get into a point where you can show them facts and they still don't believe it because then you know it's a spirit. It's scary. It's scary. It really is. And for those... That say things like, you know, well, Trump's faking it. He he's not serious. He's just pandering to Christians. Philippians 118. Whether it's out of false motives or if they're true about what they're doing, the fact is that they are talking about Jesus, so we should rejoice. So if you are a true Christian, your actions should be biblical. And that's what the Bible says. So stop going back and forth with yourself. Oh, is he serious? Is he not serious? And go to your Bible and read Philippians 118. How about that? How about that? Uh, guys, I'm telling you right now. Uh, Kamehame ain't it. Kamehame ain't it. First of all, the lady's lying about being black. I mean, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me her mother's indian her uh, dad is irish from jamaica that's crazy to me i believe her granddaddy was a slave owner for her to be out here pretending to be black should really put up a red flag for you guys did you hear about what uh judge joe brown said play the clip we found it ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna hurt somebody's feelings but we got a witch running for president that woman is the worst kind of sleaze you can ever think of. I was in California when it was going down. And I used to represent 40 years ago 
a whole chunk of pimps and hoes in Memphis. And I know a hoe when I see one. And when I see a hoe, I know she got a pimp. And I want to find out who the pimps are that we getting tricked out on the benefit of. Who are the pimps that this woman is working for? And I see some decent ladies out there. I've met a few of you. And I resent the fact that you got a hoe that's being in your face. You see, tomorrow is yesterday, today. So today was yesterday, and it'll be tomorrow, tomorrow. That's why we have to understand today. What the hell did you just say? And you're going to fake off about being a Negro. I met a daddy. Sat next to the man for two and a half hours at the governor general's table down in Jamaica. My ex-wife asked him what he was. He said he was Irish and he was Hindu. She said, you don't have anybody black in your family? He said, no. So her daddy's Irish and Hindu. Also, Candace Owens did a deep research on that and actually talked to some of her relatives. So the question is, why, why would somebody go out of their way and lie to you about being black? Is that not one of the biggest red flags you have ever seen in your, in your entire existence? If, you do, if that isn't a red flag for you, I don't know what would be. You are really in a delusional space. And you should really cry out, Abba, Father, help me. I've come into too much dark agreement with social life, social media life for celebrities and a whole lot of demonic people. I've come into too much agreement with them with where I'm believing everything that they're saying and everything that they're putting online. Abba, help me to come out of this delusional space. Abba, Abba help me. Give me eyes to see and ears to hear. Allow me to see the perspective that you're seeing from God. Please, God. Because I understand that there's different facts coming out and something inside of me just doesn't want to believe it. What is that, Father? Please take it out of me, my Lord. Come out. Come out. May the Lord intervene. Hallelujah. For those who want to see more raw and unfiltered videos, go to Patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. I appreciate you guys. Put in the comments what you think of this video, my brothers and sisters. Subscribe if you haven't already. And pray for my voice, brothers and sisters. Continue praying for my voice. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.